Every year in the UK, we built hundreds of thousands of new homes and developers don't really pay that much attention to the lighting. That's your choice. It's a very personal thing when it comes to lighting, but one of the things you're most likely to change when you move into a new home. Moving into a new home is an ideal opportunity to think about smart lighting, tying it in with some other tech, even security features, or just you want color change. And that's what we're gonna discover in this video. When moving to smart lighting, most people think about bulbs or lamps, and it can be as easy as changing a lamp. However, you've still got to think about things like shades, and you'd still have to buy a fixture if you're looking for something more decorative. But now the Philips Hue range has an immense range of fixtures. And in this video, we're going to take a little look around the house to see where you can use them and hopefully give you some lighting inspiration for your home. When it comes to creating a dramatic entrance, this is one of my favorite products from the Hue range. This Centra Spotlight has a linear color change panel and three spotlights that are independently controlled so you can pick out some pictures or possibly some other objects you mount on the wall. Now, when it comes to the living room, it's no wonder that developers only put one light in the middle because they have no idea how you're going to use that space and where you're going to put various objects. The customer here has just bought an enormous television that's going to take up most of this wall, but that gives us lots of options when it comes to lighting. But let's first deal with that big light, the one that is in the center that you'll probably want to remove I'd suggest you don't overdo it on the color change. There's plenty of options for that. This Enrave light, you can color tune between warm and cool white. Bags of space in there when it comes to wiring. And then supplement that with freestanding lights so you've got flexibility in the space, such as this little Iris product here. Or my top pick that I really like is this, what we're calling the Sign or Signa, as we've seen on other, other channels. Um, this is a little bit special because it's not just color change, it's white as it is at the moment here, but actually the color change changes along the strip or termed gradient. So you have one color at the bottom and different colors at different points of the strip. So that creates a sort of a, a new way of looking at color change. And I think that can create some really dramatic effects. Now to go with that, we've got enormous television. We've probably got some other um, features in the room, some other furniture tuck behind it some gradient lead strip that has the same effect. So you don't need to think of this as just fixed color change. You can have a variable color change along the strip. So good to tuck behind furniture or possibly even put around the TV to backlight the TV and then couple that with the sink box that allows it to reflect the colors to reflect what's happening on the TV screen. Everyone loves the convenience of a light switch and all these different light sources in the room, you're still gonna to want to control them from a central location. Otherwise, you're not gonna really have time to go around the room and switch everything on. Now, Philips have got absolutely loads of ways of controlling the Hue system and we've made a separate video about that. I will leave a link in the description. One thing that's not in that video is this new tap dial switch, which we think is a great addition to the range. You can not only just control this room, you can control other rooms in the house as well. When it comes to the kitchen, the developer's been incredibly generous here, just putting in a one pendant light in the middle. I think we're gonna to need to add some more if you really want to uh, create the most out of what is a dining kitchen space. If you know where your table is going, my suggestion would always be a pendant above the table and in the Hue range, you've got a number of options. My top pick is the Ensys linear pendant that has two separate controllable elements to it, an uplight element that will wash the ceiling and a downlight element that will obviously go onto the table. Now, each of those uh, individual elements can be controlled for either white light or color change. So you could have a nice color changing ceiling or particular uh, shade that you want up there and then have white light on the table. If you don't want color change, there are other options in the range. The Amaze pendant is a white tunable or as Philips call it, white ambience. So you can go from warm to cool white. Uh, and if you can't be, uh, can't be sure where your table is going to go in the room and a pendant wouldn't work for you because you're going to clank your head into it, uh, you could go for this still uh, this still ceiling light, which is, again is a white tunable product. Or if you want to go back to color change, we've got this Surumu panel light, which again is a great addition, uh, very slim with the ceiling. And again, you get all those color tunable and white features. These fixtures are incredibly easy to install, just three wires to connect. And thankfully, Philips have allowed a generous amount of wiring room. Now, when it comes to wiring, how simple it really is depends on how the lighting circuit's been wired in the home, and that can go two ways. So let's have a look how this one's been done. Just unscrew the cover on the pendant. And yeah, this is a really easy job. There's only three wires to change. Now, if this has got, you open this up and it looks like a rat's nest, there's probably enough room in the side of the fixture to do it, but you're gonna need an electrician to figure out what's going on with the wiring. Speaking of electricians, there's a few rooms we haven't looked at yet in this video. There's the bathroom, there's the bedroom. What if they're combined into a master bedroom suite? 
and you might want to do something really special, run in some new cables. And we're going to do that with an electrician who started this job this morning, and you can watch that in this video. Downlight shaped hand. All right. That's why I use a 76 mil hole, because I can get my hand in. 